let's see what should we do now we can have this and after that we can do that and then, uh, oh hello there everyone welcome back to my channel i didn't see you coming here but uh, hello um today we're gonna do the part two of uh, nukes top five videos it's it's nukes top five but he got that 10 scary videos so this is uh, five to one and before we hit that uh, just uh, subscribe to my channel leave a like and comment down below what you think and what you would like me to do more and what you want to see more in my channel and uh, here we go scary videos jason barber from salisbury north carolina comes home from work and he gets the unexpected scare of a lifetime. It's a cat. It's a really cat. Jesus! That is something I don't want to get home to. Nope. I think the cat was gonna warning warn him. A big angry snake is hiding around the edges of Jason's front door and lunges out in an attempt to bite him. Luckily for Jeez. Jason, the bite was a miss, and the snake is actually a non-poisonous black rat snake. But something to be learned from this. If you walk up and your cat is just staring at the door and meowing yes. for no reason, maybe take a closer look before you just head in. Yes. Yes, the cat is known for something. Yeah, I can totally in agree. Clip, a man and woman have a similar scary no. encounter. No, not with snakes. Oh, I didn't know this uh, episode was snakes. Woo! -hoo! Look at the cat. <laughs> the couple pulls out an old step stool and is shocked to find a large snake hiding under a box. You right cannot see that. They make a run for it with their puppy following close behind. Oh, it's a puppy, not a cat. The puppy uh, is not sorry. Gonna let the snake have his I thought. Uh, I, I so thought this was. Uh, back in and yoinks it away. Oh, I see. It was a puppy. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing is getting his favorite toy. Uh, he <laughs> Game changer. Nuke's top five viewer, Christopher Duncan, emailed us some creepy CCTV footage. Oh, church. At a small church in rural Mississippi. The CCTV camera church can be really, really creepy. The church's, quote, youth group. When something happens that no one at the church can explain. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I can. Watch. Watch. John, are you watching the same? Yeah. It's, it's not Um... Let's uh, try to explain that. Uh, it's an earthquake. No. It's an elephant. No. Can it be... Um, um, what, what can it... Um, I had a candy bar here and the um, paper from that just started to move by itself. But I think it was me. <laughs> but I got scared. Uh, wait, wait, wait. We were here. Can it be... I don't know. Let's see what it is. God, watch. Better, so bad. Nobody listens to me. There's ghosts in here. Nobody listens to me. Watch it. He's about to go crazy and break. Oh. It broke! And it broke. And he said that. A pool stick on the floor of the church playroom can be seen rolling around, shaking, and vibrating all on its own before it just snaps it's, right in half. It's hard the to break were so busy a pool stick. That they didn't even notice the creepy they were event. But they after didn't, playtime, church they, officials found the broken pool they stick didn't on notice. the floor and went back to... Didn't the broken stick um, make a sound or something when it broke? to check the Maybe CCTV not. footage to find out just who did it. They, they were pretty they shocked to see heard the pole stick seem to just break they should have just its own. Hear that some says the church is known to be haunted. If them, they don't have music or something in the background. Activity Maybe. Over the last 20 years. So could this be the work of an angry spirit or an aggressive entity? And why? Perhaps it's a ghost that lost in pool? Maybe? At a church. Let me know what you think. 
strange noises from the toilet. I will not go to the toilet anymore. To the new stop by I will and pee I really them outside. My subreddit followers. So I'm just gonna repeat what someone on there wrote that I should say about this video. Ready user Minato caught something really odd on his home camera while pooping. That's so kind of funny. Is actually a guy named Dustin, and he apparently has an extensive collection of bongs. But never I mind can that. See that. Let's just analyze what Dustin heard while um, dropping the kids off at the pool. We can say that. So what's that, Dustin? Hello? A soft female voice can be heard calling out, Dustin? Okay. And the dog reacted to that. Hello? He too. Now Dustin is home alone, but he says the voice was so clear that he thought a stranger was standing right outside his bathroom door. Oh. Even creepier. Dustin's two dogs seem to be anxiously looking around the living room. Yeah. Almost as if they can see something that we can't. And they can. So did Dustin capture, quote, something really odd on his home camera while pooping? Yes. And just how many bongs does one fellow need? More Dustin? than one. Uh, Dustin. You can answer these questions and more down in the comments. Yep, you dead. Go into this video and comment down below. Oh. A new stop by viewer and YouTuber who goes by the name Wishy reached out to us about a live stream Wishy. from the allegedly Wishy haunted Wishy. Melville Cemetery in Melville, New York. Wishy like says Google, that his friend yeah. Brian went out to broadcast no, a Ouija board session live not from do a Melville Ouija board Cemetery in a while cemetery. his watched and talked to him on Discord. Now the Melville Cemetery is located on Sweet Hollow Road, a road that has many tragic and ghostly legends attached to it. One such legend is that a school bus driver lost control and drove off the bridge crossing Sweet Hollow Road. All of the school children on the bus met a tragic fate. Another legend says that three boys took their own lives by hanging themselves from that very same Sweet Hollow Bridge. Mm. So it goes without saying that Sweet Hollow Road and the cemetery are said to be extremely haunted. Brian is on a Discord call with his friends, who you'll hear in the background. And he is streaming live as he decides to do a Ouija board session just outside the gate of the Melville Cemetery. No, don't Things do a Ouija board. To go wrong. No, please. And what happens next is truly terrifying. Yeah, if you do that, it's... it's no. Or he's moving it. Uh, oh, Yo, I'm leaving. Well, is he by himself? I I thought he had a friend with him who had the cam. Bro. And yeah. his car alarm went off. Yeah. Whoa! Yo. Um. But that can happen if you stand it on a bad place and it's not, uh, yeah, that, that, that's maybe not paranormal, but um, yeah, I think that is, but it maybe not. Bro. Understandably, Brian is a little freaked out, but he manages By to that. stay calm, reposition his camera and continue okay. his live stream. It was... Are there any spirits here that would like to talk to me? It was very stable, so... Bro, I didn't even ask it. No! Was that you that just turned on the alarm? He should... He shouldn't... Uh... No. No. Again, don't don't take off. Don't do that. Bro. End it. 
before you do anything else. Just end it, then leave. And it's Why lock the doors if you're doing this? You need I to. I left the keys over. I'm panicking, bro. Yeah. Why? Wait. Brian is a little freaked out, but his friends keep telling him that he needs to go and say goodbye. Yes. Using the Ouija board. You need to do you that. You see, in the paranormal community, not signing off by saying goodbye at the end of a session is considered to be a horrible mistake, and is said to invite the contacted spirit to remain attached to yes. the Ouija board user. So that's true. Brian that's goes true. Back. So true. And this is when sh goes sideways. More? I took the light from everything. Is it more happening? No. Come on, bro. Oh, my oh, oh. Bro. bro. The Ouija board just Get went the into the graveyard. Yeah, Oh shit. I'm leaving, I'm leaving. Yeah, he is on his way. The Ouija board suddenly slides across the pavement to the other side of the locked gate. Yep. Right into Melville Cemetery. Yes. Brian starts to leave. But after everything that has happened, he again begins to worry that he didn't say goodbye. That's after using true. the Ouija board. So, Brian goes back again. He plans to jump the fence and retrieve the board. But it's gone. Fence, Is I'm it gone? It's gone. Bro. Bro, Chris. Chris, look it's, at the stream. It's not there anymore. There's a big fire in there. It's a, the Ouija There's board is on fire. fire. Get out of the run. Run. Still get out of there. I'm not going to get out of the run. Bro, I think the Ouija board is on fire. A fire can be seen burning on the road inside the cemetery. And uh, it's the Ouija board. Even though his friends advise him to just leave, Brian once again feels that he should definitely try to retrieve that board to say goodbye. But he cannot do that if it's it burned. It? No. Oh, you guys are so You see, the Ouija board is not there. Because it's all the way up there. Bro, I'm jumping. I'm jumping. Don't do that. Bro, it's literally graves. I think the Ouija board is burned. No, it's not. So he cannot say goodbye. And he is screwed. Bro, I see it. I see it. Yo, it's the board. It's the board. Yes. The board and the so he cannot say goodbye anymore. He's screwed. Oh my god. Bro, I'm not touching you it. You see, he cannot say goodbye. The goodbye sign is gone. The goodbye sign is gone. Ah, it's there. Oh, I, I see it. But he cannot do it right now. So do I just say goodbye? You cannot do that now. My God, bro. Goodbye. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Dragon, say goodbye. I did. Brian is finally able to say goodbye on the Ouija board, and he just gets out of there. But is it real, or is it all just a very elaborate live stream hoax? Sorry if I pause. I think I heard someone was coming, but I don't, I don't think it was someone. I leave that up to you to decide. It can be a hoax. You can see even more of this but scary if the gate is locked, over on the YouTube channel, I don't think it I'm is. Wishy. Yeah, it goes. Drawn out. Drawn tattoo out. artist Liz Cruz is working on a customer's tattoo in her home studio in Erie, Pennsylvania. Things suddenly take a very disturbing turn. How? Okay, this is a CCTV camera, so it's not, it may be not fake, but they can fake it, but I don't think the these kind of videos are fake. If something is happening, something is happening. But what is happening? 
I have my eyes on everything and let move by itself. Yes. I don't think uh, that woman uh, gonna get a tattoo right now. Nope. And that chair is moving. <laughs> Ew, she held her the tattoo pen. Liz's tattoo supply suddenly rolls away from her all by itself. Liz and her customer are a bit freaked out, but try to remain calm. But then a chair lurches out from a table nearby. Yeah. And the two have had about enough. Yeah, me they too. They get up and just make a run for it. Tattoo artist Liz says that she has no idea what happened to them that day. I have no but idea. She believes either. that they might have experienced something, quote, far beyond the ordinary. Yes. All right, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video, this part two of the uh, video. If you liked it, press the like button and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell if you want more and don't uh, miss it. And I'll see you in the next video. Hey, Ra.